Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. Today I thought I would recap some of the day and swing trades I made with Ford over the last couple days. As you guys know, I like to do a lot of day and swing trading with Ford. I think it's a great blue chip company, a relatively cheap company, not only with regards to its stock price, as you can see here, $11.27, but also with its PE ratio, price to earnings ratio, 12.031%, one of the lowest in this particular market segment. And the other great part about this stock as well is it has a great dividend yield, nine, or excuse me, 4.946%. So if I can't get out of a day or swing trade, I'm more than willing to hold this stock for the longer term, picking up that great dividend yield and being a blue chip stock, I don't have a lot of reservations of this stock falling like a penny stock would. Although I can day and swing trade it like a penny stock given its stock price. Yes, it has pulled back quite a bit here over the last one year, 9.11%. And over the last five years, uh, it's only up 33.65% while the S&P is up uh, 80 to 95% over that particular time period. But again, I like this stock because it's a minimal to day and swing trading. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I would be holding this stock, but I've made quite a bit of money doing day and swing trades. And like I said, if I can't get out of a stock, I'm more than willing to hold this longer term. Uh, I made two day trades and one swing trade over the last couple of days. We'll kind of go down to the bottom here and take a look at the orders for full transparency. So it's been a great stock. Over the last two days, $105 just with a couple, uh, three very simple trades. And I also have another trade that I set up today that I'm looking to uh, get out of tomorrow. So going down to orders here, you can see yesterday I got out of a trade, 710 shares, $11.33. The cost basis for those shares was $11.30. So I made just over $21 on that particular trade. Uh, then uh, yesterday went ahead and picked up another 710 shares, $11.29. And then I was able to sell that off today, as you can see here, 710 at 11.34. So I made just over $35 with that trade there. Then it went ahead and picked the uh, stock up again as it pulled back, 720 shares, $11.25. Then sold that off, as you can see here as well, 720 shares, $11.30. So I made, uh, I think, right over, just right over $36 on that trade, if not right at $36. And then went ahead and jumped in again as the stock pulled back, back to $11.25, uh, 722 shares that I'll look to do a swing trade with tomorrow. So yeah, over $100, three very simple trades, quick and easy trades. And again, if I can't get out of this particular stock, I'm more than happy to hold this for the longer term. So those are just a few trades I made, and I've been doing that for the last couple of months or so. Uh, just putting in some trade orders in the morning, a limit buy order in the morning. If that executes, I'll go ahead and put a limit sell order in. It's just been repeating that uh, over and over for the last few months here. And the great part about the stock is, is that it really has this up and down pattern throughout the day. So yesterday, as you can see here, June 9th, or a few days ago, uh, this is the one week graph here. You can see it jumps up here, then pulls back a bit, jumps up, pulls back. And I'm not looking to make home runs with these particular trades. I'm not looking to do 5 to 10% uh, day trades. I'm looking to do 0 0.25, 0 0.35%. And if I can do that on a consistent basis, do a few of those per day, 1% per day would be phenomenal uh, with regards to day trading. If I can take eight or $9,000 and do 1% per day, phenomenal. But what I've been doing is a fraction of that, 0.1, 0.2% per day, which does not seem like a lot, but aver uh, averaged uh, and added over a week, over a month, that's quite a, quite a return. And I also pick up the dividend as well. So if I'm doing this on a consistent basis, I can also do some dividend capture with the Ford stock. And again, if it trends down, I'm more than happy to hold this for the long term. So it's a very safe stock in which to do this. I would not be doing this with penny stocks. Um, I just don't have that risk tolerance right now. I don't really want to have that risk tolerance either. Ford's been working out very nicely for me, complementing the other stocks I have in my portfolio, which for the most part are high dividend yielding, boot chip stocks, large cap stocks that are very good for long-term buy and hold strategy. So this has been a perfect stock to do my day and swing trade. So yeah, just wanted to quickly update you guys on those trades I made over the last couple days. Again, one swing trade, two day trades for a little bit over $105 of profit. And then I also jumped into another swing trade that I'm looking to get out of tomorrow. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on my trades. I think I'm gonna put out a little bit longer video later tonight talking about exactly the strategy I've been doing with the portfolio. A lot of you guys have been wondering if I'm 
uh, doing more day trades now, or I'm doing more swing trades, or I'm still doing a lot of long-term buy and hold strategies with dividend stocks. So I thought I'd just kind of go through and update you guys on my current trading philosophy. And as you guys know, this is an experimental portfolio. I have my Vanguard and E-Trade accounts that I have, the uh, longer-term buy and hold stocks, VOO, uh, and other stocks, Vanguard stocks for a, a longer-term buy and hold strategy. But this portfolio, I'm definitely trying out more uh, risky strategies, uh, more novel strategies, more sophisticated strategies, day, stra uh, day trading, swing trading, doing some dividend capture. So a lot of different things I'm doing with this particular portfolio. So I thought I'd just put out a little bit longer video updating you guys on exactly what the philosophy behind this portfolio is. But yeah, I don't want to make the video too long. Just wanted to update you guys on my day trades for today. Let me know what you guys have been doing with your portfolios if any of you guys have also been doing some day and swing trades with ford i think it's a great stock i know there's a lot of criticism with regards to its longer term potential here but again i think it's been a great day and trade uh excuse me a day and swing trading stock and i think i'm going to, going to continue doing some of those trades moving into the future here so yeah with that i'll kind of end the video as always if you guys enjoy my videos feel free to like share subscribe if you guys haven't signed up for the gift card giveaway the amazon gift card giveaway uh, giveaway sign up in the link below Otherwise, any good video ideas, let me know as well. And yeah, kind of with that. I'll